Hi, this is Shenshifu Weaver, and welcome to our Beast Magic series. So, Shoshu, or Beast Magic, is typically pretty hard to see what's going on. So in this series, what I'm going to do is explain some of the things that are going on in each technique or each demo that's done. Demos will be done by myself, uh, some of our shifus, or even some of our students. And what I uh, plan on doing in each in each video is to explain two things that make it Shoshu. So one thing is what I call the grand th unified theory of Shoshu. And what that is, is Shoshu has to have three characteristics, which uh, I call the grand unified theory. Um, but those characteristics are, one, it has to have flowing focused chi. Two, it has to block all possibilities. And three, it has to to take the opponent's center line immediately. Now, you'll get to understand what those th three things mean as we go here. So the other thing that I'll explain here is the Shoshu Beasts and how we uh, switch in and out of those or combine them in different ways. So Shoshu has seven beasts. That is the bear, the tiger, the mongoose, white crane, praying mantis, cobra, and dragon. You can call them animals if you want. We call them beasts. And uh, what we do is, like I said, switch in and out, combine them in different ways. And that uh, together creates some pretty cool beast magic. So this is Shifu Miller doing a quick little technique. Of course, they're all quick. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. Then I'm going to play it slow-mo, and then I will stop and break in and explain each little part. So here we go. Okay, we can see here that Shifu Miller is starting in a little bit of a, a mana stance. So uh, he's taking a little bit of leeway in that stance and softening it, it up, which is perfectly fine for the situation. And what I want you to watch for here is as he does his first parry, is that the little turn of the hip, because that parry's got to have power. Uh, in the way he's using it. And so you'll see kind of a clockwise rotation of the hip, uh, which is very subtle, but definitely there. So watch that as it... Okay, so you'll notice here that at this point, uh, Shiva Miller's opponent, Mr. Ray, has tried to cheap shot him. There's that elbow is coming in. And of course, that's always an option. That's uh, And there's no such thing as a cheap shot, by the way. Um, but anyway... When you do that sort of a parry, that elbow is always a possibility, and so you have to be ready for it. That's part of blocking all possibilities, right? So he's going to quickly transition into Mongoose. He started off Manus, and you can see his body is already going what we call over center line, and that's transitioning into Mongoose. So uh, as he goes into this next section, he drives deep forward and deep to the left, uh, in a mongoose posting action. So a posting motion is the similar to kind of like how a bear would do a hard bow. This is a mongoose version of it. And so the bear, the weight on the foot is going to be flat across the bottom of the foot. The upper body is going to be more erect, and that gives a forward drive. So that's a standard bear hard bow. But in the mongoose, mongoose is more let's say, at one with gravity. He likes gravity. Gravity is his friend. And so it's not even a falling motion. It's more of a pushing down motion. And the way he does this is the weight is pushed, instead of flat on the foot, the weight is pushed down into the heel, and the weight is 
lifted it's light on the on the front the front leg will then hang underneath the center line so instead of reaching out like a bear or a tiger it will hang underneath and that gives the ability to come out of that that over center line position very quickly so the weight going into the heel pushes the upper body in a downward direction instead of so much in a forward now obviously there's a lot of forward um, so we're going forward and down rather than just forward what this allows for is a very quick um, covering of ground forward and to the left. So the left is going to give us the evasion. That's the block all possibilities. In this case, it's evading the possibility of that elbow. We're going deep to the left and uh, deep in forward. And the reason we're going deep forward is the mongoose tends to like to be behind his opponent. Uh, if you watch any National Geographic, you'll see those mongoose will do anything they can to get behind the opponent because they're they're little guys. Uh, they don't want to they don't want to fight in front. So uh, let's just go ahead and see that mongoose post as he transitions from where he started in the mantis. He's uh, transitioning into mongoose. So at this point, we see Shifu Miller has uh, been able to get almost completely behind his opponent with that mongoose over center line drive. Now, a couple other things here. Um, let's go over the grand unified theory, and is he doing that? Is there flowing focus in chi? Yes. You can see that the circling energies, the, cir the energy circled from the parry into the punch. If you take a look at that closely, you'll see a circle flowing through the hips, and that circle is coming out into those weapons. Uh, did he take his opponent's center line yes the first parry would have taken away the uh where the opponent thought he was going to put his weight so that gives a little bit of a forward um overextension and then by punching low into the ribs um that will make that exaggerate that overextension so the opponent was trying to punch he thought he was put, put, put his weight into that punch uh, there was nowhere to put that weight, and he got the, the lower rib shot, which is going to take his center line even more. So did he, uh, so he's, he's done two, there's two of the three, and did he block all possibilities? Yes, he blocked the parry, the elbow was the next possibility, he evaded that, uh, because, um, the, there's really kind of the other elbow the guy maybe could have spun around, um, but because he was off-center, he couldn't do that. So there's not really much more that the opponent could do in that millisecond. So he did block all possibilities. Now, in this next section, what we're going to see is him transition into a tiger. So he's going to do a coiling cross-step, um, a coiling uh, or a cross-step, or it's often called a Chinese cross-step. Could be done in the tiger, could be done in the mongoose. Uh, could be done in the cobra and could be or could be done in the dragon there's a little bit of subtle differences between the, the four now uh, Schiff Miller happens to be working on his tiger so it's likely that he'll choose a tiger and the tiger actually really fits his situation so uh, that's which one he's going into now uh, we'll of course try and explain the differences at some point in another video uh, but here we go Okay, so we saw there that uh, Shifu Miller had used the tiger cross step to fire a back knuckle to the back of the ribs. So the punch hit him, the guy in the front of the ribs, back knuckle hit him in the back of the ribs. And here he is following up. He's covering forward on the opponent. Um, and that is to be in a position for follow up west weapons if necessary so that's a, an aggressive way to cover um, and but it's good because he could be quickly there in case he needed to take advantage of uh, that situation if he felt that the opponent was not completely incapacitated he could quickly fire some more weapons maybe some kicks or something at him and handle the situation Yeah! <laughs> 
And there you have it, a quick little demonstration of some beast mixing, or as we call it, beast magic, and an explanation of what I call the grand unified theory of Shoshu. And if you like what we're doing here and you want some more, uh, the best place to go is to head on over to shunshifu.com, S-H-U-N-S-H-I-F-U.com, and on the right-hand side you will see a list of all the places to find us, whether that is on Steemit or Patreon or some of the more corporate social media such as Facebook or uh, YouTube or whatever, wherever you want to connect, that's going to give you the list of places where to connect. So, uh, salute. <laughs>